On. Neil, welcome to Fox News Sunday. Good to have you with us today. Um, I, I want to start with the, the news this morning, which is significant to uh, people who watch this sort of thing, and that is that Queen Elizabeth has essentially given the nod for Camilla, Prince Charles's wife, to become queen, essentially, when he takes the throne after she passes. Why is that so significant? Well, welcome also to the Queen of Fox. I, as you know, Martha, love you. <laughs> yes, right. Right Thank now, you, let friend. me explain this. <laughs> let me explain this, though. It's very simple. She's Queen Consort. So what the Queen is actually doing is this. She's reshaping the monarchy. And I don't know about you, Monica, but I, um, I found it very strange, actually, when she, you know, used the phrase, you know, in the fullness of time. She's mm -hmm. setting up the shop, as it were, for the next session of the monarchy. And what's interesting also, Martha, is that, you know, people are then saying, oh, is Camilla going to be Queen? No. She is the Queen Consort, so it's King Charles, and then she is the Consort. But I think by Her Majesty the Queen putting this out there, she's basically saying, these are my wishes, even after I'm no longer here, sadly, this is what I want you to do. And telling, of course, not just the United Kingdom, but the Commonwealth, this is what's happening. I, as you know, I admire greatly Our Gracious Majesty the Queen, and I think, what a girl, and what a, a time to do it on the eve, of course, of the accession. Marvellous. Yeah, she's 95 years old, and you spent some time at Buckingham Palace sort of taking the pulse this morning outside of what people think about this, because everybody, you know, really thinks of Camilla as the person who broke up Diana and Charles's marriage. But has that mellowed a bit? Oh, it's mellowed a lot. Let me tell you, I was at a, a function last week uh, with Catherine, Prince Charles and Camilla, and you can see a really good bond, for instance, with Catherine and Camilla. And the public, you know, has, has really changed over the last 17 years. I'm not decrying, you know, we all have a past. Camilla will be the first to admit that. And when you think about other people in the royal family who've moaned and moaned about royal media intrusion, did anybody apart from Camilla and, of course, the Duchess of York go through terrible times in the 90s with the media? That's already changed because she's been very strong with a lot of her charities, you know, the abuse charities, uh, the reading charities. She's set to become yes. uh, very quickly the patron of the National Theatre too. Never ending for Camilla. A big, big turnaround. We like her. So this spring, there'll be obviously the big festivities. Today is the anniversary, but the spring will be the anniversary of the coronation. So obviously Prince Philip is no longer by the Queen's side. Who do you expect will be sort of in the prime spots there, and do you think Prince Andrew and Meghan and Harry, will they even be there? <laughs> you have to spoil it, Martha. The thing <laughs> is, <laughs> no, the thing is, yeah, you're right. I think um, we're going to see a lot more of Princess Anne. She is one of the figures behind the scenes putting a lot of this together. We will see uh, Prince William and Prince Charles alongside uh, our gracious majesty, the Queen. Do I believe Prince Andrew will be involved? I think privately, yes, but publicly, no, that's his choice. Uh, Meghan and Harry, there is no appetite over here in the United Kingdom for them to return. Whatever the message you're hearing over over there, over here, they're polling incredibly badly. And I think after the messages over the last couple of days about, you know, the things that Prince Harry does, and the Oprah Winfrey interview is still rated so badly in people's minds over here. Uh, it's actually made Prince Charles and Camilla even more popular. A lot of people feel incredibly sorry for them. So, you know, difficult All times. Right. Just 30 seconds left, but I want to swing you over to 10 Downing Street for a moment because obviously this garden party gate has exploded. Do you think that Boris Johnson can hang on to his position as prime minister? I'm going to be back there this afternoon. We'll have more about this, but I do. He will cling on. He's re-evaluating what's going on there. He's got some good people around him now, and so we'll keep you posted. Plus, he lifted all the restrictions, right, which everybody loves. <laughs> all right, Neil, thank you so much. Always Bye -bye. good to see you. Neil Sean from London.